Well, the practice is now criminalised in the UK thanks to this campaign. And I'm delighted to say that Richard Holden, the MP for North West Durham, joins us now. Um, Firstly, congratulations uh, on this campaign. It's been a long time coming. You must be very pleased. I am. Um, in parliamentary terms, though, it's been quite quick. Uh, I started uh, campaigning on this uh, about a, uh, 14, 15 months ago. Having said that, there have been real campaigners out there from some of the charity organisations working with uh, women uh, in this situation uh, and who've been subjected to these practices for years. Uh, I just, uh, I'm just so glad that now the government's taken on board what we want to do and is making the change uh, now in the, in the Health and Care Act. Uh, we tabled some amendments and uh, they basically accepted them, uh, put their own uh, exactly the same ones in their place. And uh, yeah, it's coming, coming through, coming to pass. But it will mean that some of these practices, Tom, that um, just, just have no place in, in Britain, should, should never have had any place in Britain, are going to be banned. And uh, it's just so, uh, I'm just so grateful to all the campaigners, but also to the government ministers uh, for listening to us. And these practices were carried out by certain communities within the UK. This is a, a bit of a, a sensitive topic to talk about because particularly some minority communities, uh, this affects more uh, than others. Uh, what steps were taken in order to reach out to uh, and try and bring people together with regards to pushing forward this ban? Because it does have the potential, uh, I suppose, in the eyes of some, to be divisive. Well, uh, Tom, I don't sign up to any of this cultural relativism stuff. Um, I think if, if you're British, then you deserve to be treated the same, uh, whatever your uh, background. And the truth is that the campaigners behind this were actually women from uh, generally minority communities who didn't want to see this practice continue in modern Britain. It's aligned to uh, the big campaign that you've seen against female genital mutilation. We've also got another of my colleagues, Pauline Latham, is currently working to raise the age at which people can get married to 18 to prevent child marriage in the UK as well. So these are all things that, you know, I think that as modern Britain, uh, whatever your background, wherever you're from, uh, if you're a British citizen, you deserve the same rights and support. And, and that's exactly what we're trying to deliver uh, with the ban on virginity testing and hymenoplasty as we're bringing it forward at the moment. I, I don't think that we can... Uh, it, the, the, some people think that the campaign for women's rights uh, is over. It isn't. Because some of these issues, we've, we've allowed, we've tried to put them in the uh, too difficult, too hot to handle box for too long. Um, I, I don't think that's fair. I think if you're British, then there are certain rights that you should have. And, and one of them is not to be abused in this way.